Hi guys, this is Android5.com and I'm here with a handset called AllView P6. We're here to review a very interesting photo editing application. It's called Pixel R Express. It's from Autodesk and only it takes up only 5.6 megabytes of space. It's available for free and these are its options. As I said, it's a photo editing application. It also has a camera section. It takes you straight to, to the camera application on the device so it doesn't have its own special effects or anything. It's just the camera application of the handset. Now the interesting part is the photo editing per se. So let's choose a picture here, one that we can actually edit really nice. So let's choose this one. Okay, now the main options available here are adjustment, effect, overlay and border. And each of them have a lot of sub effects. And you should know that this application runs on devices with Android 2.2 and up. We can obviously crop, resize, remove red eyes and borders. Of course, you can also zoom into pictures to quite an impressive level. And uh, now let's see what we can modify about this picture. So in the adjustment area, we have one option called color splash. So you can also select a color to begin with and only apply it to a part of the picture. So if you only want to take the white, if you only want to select the blue, the gray of the road, or maybe the yellow area, this is a pretty cool tool if you ask me. There's also an option for tolerance. And then you can mess around with various color hues and create some interesting effects. Okay, aside from color splash, so we're done here with the color splash. Next up is the option to sharpen the picture. And this is the amount of sharpness that you can get with this slider right here. This is pretty much how every option works. There's also a radius of the sharpness and you can actually see the image is more crisp now. It's sharper. You can also denoise the image in case it has noise in it. Of course, there is an option for red eye if you have a person in the shot. There is the option to whiten the picture. And here you have a brush size that you can increase and start whitening various areas. There is also an eraser. Okay, now other options are the option to touch up the image. Once again, changing the size of the tool that you are going to use. You can change the shade the shine and let's see what other options we have here we have a focal blur that you can see it's already applied to the picture so you can change the pattern of the focal blur and the grading the level of the blurring as you can see everything around this center area is blurred but the center remains clear pretty interesting effect um, there's also the obvious cropping this is a pretty straightforward option, you've seen cropping on other image editing application. Obviously you can rotate the image. There is an auto fix if you want to correct certain aspects of the picture to solve all of its problems. There is the auto fix. Then there is an option for the color, for the hue, saturation and lightness. This is what I'm doing with the saturation. Now I'm playing with the hue. And other options include contrast and brightness, blur, here you can play with the amount of blur that you want to add. And now we're moving on to the effects. This is a huge section, each divided into subsections. So if we enter vintage, this one has its own subsections and options. With op options called Carl, Doris, Doug, they have people's names. Harper looks very cool. Jailer. Kevin, a certain uh, vintage feeling look. There is also one called Satya with yet another bunch of options. And you can even select the level of fading that you want to apply. So it's good to have so many sub options, but I've frankly never seen an app for mobile with such complex features. You can also select creative and this is where you really go crazy. You can turn the picture like this, postmodern posters something you would buy in a hipster shop really cool effects yet another effect once again you can play with the fading and then you've got the soft option 
Once again with people's names, Jessica, Jones, Robert, Rose, Thomas and the option to fade in or fade out. And then comes the old option. You can you apply a sort of sepia, black and white, various degrees of sepia. One called Logan, making everything darker and sadder. There's also an option called Unicolor. It's sort of a sepia with a single color, if you allow me to say that. And finally, we got an option called Overlay, yet another number of effects. We got an option for Retro Poster. So you basically you add stuff, you overlay stuff onto the picture, like marks, Mac, pipes, Roger, a star, a studio. You can overlay anything you want on the picture and select the level of fading that you want to apply on top of it. And there is also some color correction that you can apply. This is the color correction with blue, red, green, pink, red. Basically you can add a hue on top of the image. There is also a chemical burn option. This one is pretty crazy. Just like one of those pictures that you took back in the days. And you want to develop it and it didn't turn out that well or there is a crazy lens reflection and this is what comes out. So a lot of effects to play with in this application with obviously the usual frames and borders that people add to their pictures. Magic, nice, lime, normal, round flat, plop and a lot of other frames and borders. So a very complex application, Pixelar Express, we give it a 10 out of 10 very nice, a lot of effects, you can denoise, apply focal blur and finally share via Facebook or Twitter your modified pictures. Very happy with it, a solid 10 out of 10 from AndroidPipe.com. Bye bye.